Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown, the casual farming game I've been making for the last two years using my own engine. And this week I'm going to be completely overhauling the look of this in-game inventory. So, start of a new week, start of another redesign of one of the game's UIs, and this time it's the turn of the inventory, which is a pretty important one, so I think this is going to have quite a big impact on the game. Um, I'm going to start off today by doing a quick bit of planning to work out exactly what it is I want to change about the inventory and how I'm going to implement that, and then I'll tell you more about my plans in a bit. So the planning's done, I'm about to get started with the programming. The main things I'm going to be changing about the inventory this week are these info panels. When you mouse over an item, these need to be redone. Then the main inventory panel, this needs to be completely overhauled. And I'm also going to make it possible for you to drag items around in the inventory to reorder it. And that is what I'll be starting off with this week. First up today, very exciting stuff. I've just been detecting different types of clicks so that the game can tell the difference between a single left click, which equips the item, and a left click and hold and drag, which allows you to move the item around in your inventory. However, I was just thinking that if I'm going to be redesigning the main inventory and I want dragging to work in there as well, if I change the layout of the inventory, that might end up changing how dragging should work. So I think I'm going to do the redesign first and then I'll continue implementing dragging later. Um, also, I'm kind of putting off doing dragging because it's a bit more difficult to implement. Just wanted to quickly show you one little change I've made to stacks, item stacks. Firstly, when items get added to a stack, that stack now does a little pulse animation to show you that the stack number's changed. And also, when the stack number gets to a thousand, it now gets abbreviated to make sure that it still fits into that little green bubble. And that works for thousands, for millions, and even for billions. Um, not that I expect the numbers to get that high, but just in case. So I've been working all afternoon on the new designs, which, as I've said before, can sometimes be a little bit of a struggle for me. So I started off by trying this transparent look. I thought that would fit with the inventory hotbar, which is also transparent, but I don't really like how it looks. It doesn't fit in with any of the other UI in the game, so I gave up on that idea. I then went for something a bit more obvious, just a very basic um, layout for the inventory, which definitely fits in better, but I think it's a little bit boring. So I was considering maybe changing the shape of the inventory to something a bit more curvy, um, obviously not this, this is just hand-drawn and very rough, but I think I was thinking along the lines of the inventory in Animal Crossing, which is a nice curved shape. But I think for now I'll start off by implementing the very basic inventory, and then I can always change the shape in the future. But it's the end of the day now, so I'll have to start on that tomorrow. It is 6.30 in the morning, just having a bit of breakfast. I've been getting up quite early recently because I'm actually still a little bit jet-lagged because since the last devlog video I was lucky enough to go on a trip to Thailand for a friend's wedding, which was very exciting. It's the furthest I've ever travelled, I've never even been out of Europe before, so it was a very cool experience. We spent a couple of nights in Bangkok first before flying on to Phuket, which is where the wedding was. But the highlight of the trip was then when we went on to another island called Koh Yanoi, which was just like this paradise island. There weren't that many tourists there. It's just a beautiful island full of incredible nature. And it's surrounded in the sea by all of these other little islands, which you could kayak to. And it just looks amazing. So really fun trip. I was very lucky to have been able to do that. But now I'm back in cold, wintry Hamburg. Although I am happy to be back working on the game again. I did miss that while I was away. So this morning I've been implementing the new design for the inventory. I also added a little um, animation effect for when it appears and disappears. And it looks fine. I mean, it's just so basic. 
I'm a bit worried because it is the inventory, so you're going to be seeing it a lot. And at the moment it's pretty much just a plain rectangle. So I probably will try that more curvy shape at some point, but I've still got a bit more functionality to work on, so I'll be doing that first after I've had my lunch break. Just working on adding a scroll bar to the inventory because I plan on the inventory having unlimited size so that the player doesn't have to worry about inventory management. And I already implemented a scroll bar into my engine when I was working on the saves panel, but unfortunately the scroll panel that I implemented there can't handle the contents of the panel changing while it's open. So when I add stuff to the inventory, you can see the scroll bar resets every time, which I obviously don't want. So I'm just fixing that at the moment. So the scroll panel is all working correctly now. I was just doing some work in the code for the scroll bar to properly recalculate its size and position whenever the contents of the panel change. So if I add a couple more items to the inventory here, you can see that when it goes onto the next line, the scroll bar updated its position and size um, to match the new contents of the panel. And if I remove this item, it'll remove that line, the scroll bar updates properly. And so yeah, all works as expected. I've just been changing the way that the inventory works a bit, uh, because previously how it worked is that this bottom bar was basically our entire inventory, and then this acted as like some extra storage. But that meant that when the inventory bar down here was full, you couldn't receive any more items, you couldn't harvest anything, you couldn't buy anything. Uh, until you'd gone into the storage and emptied some items into there. And that was a bit annoying, so I've changed it now so that when your inventory bar is full, it's now no longer a problem. You can keep receiving items, they just go automatically into your extended inventory. And you can see them down here. So that's where I'm going to stop today. I want to quickly go to the garden shop now before it closes to get some stuff for the balcony because it's almost time to start planting and I've got big plans for the balcony this year. I'm going to be growing lots of different fruit and vegetables. So I'm going to go and buy all of the seeds and the compost that I need. Just out with Rufus for his morning walk and I wanted to come here today because every year around this time wild garlic grows here. So all of this green stuff here is wild garlic. This particular species looks quite a lot like grass but I promise you it is edible, it is tasty and uh, I'm going to collect some now and I'll make it into a pesto or something later today. So today I'm going to be having another go at the item dragging mechanic so that you can rearrange your inventory. I've been putting this off a bit, I think it's going to be a little bit tricky, um, but I haven't really tried yet so we'll see how it goes. Obviously I've already got the picking up part working, I can drag the item around, I just can't drop it off somewhere. So that's what I'm going to be working on this morning. So it's taken all morning, but I've managed to get the dragging working in the inventory hotbar. So you can drag an item to an empty space, or if you drag an item to a space where there's already an item, then they swap places. So that now allows me to rearrange the inventory hotbar. I haven't done it yet for the main inventory, I'll do that next. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit more difficult. And then even more difficult is going to be trying to get it to work between the two inventories, trying to drag from the bar to the main inventory. So I've got the dragging in the main inventory working now. You can see I can just move everything around to my heart's content and that all works fine. Any empty slots get removed, by the way, when I close the inventory. Um, I didn't get round to implementing the dragging between the inventory bar and the inventory. I think I'm actually going to leave it. It was just, it was a bit complicated and to be honest, I really want to move on tomorrow to uh, the item examining and it's the end of the day now, so I think I'm just going to leave it here. Um, 
but it's not really really necessary I mean to move stuff between the two you can just just click on the items and the rearranging is already a big improvement you can rearrange everything exactly how you'd like it to be so I'm happy and I'll be moving on to the next task tomorrow <laughs> So onwards and upwards, today I'm going to be moving on to the item tool tips. So when you mouse over uh, an item, it will give you some information about it. And that's what I'm going to be implementing this morning. So let me show you my progress so far on the tool tips. This is what they look like at the moment. And currently they appear when you right click on an item um, but I might make it so that they appear when you just when you mouse over the item I haven't decided yet and then when you take your cursor off the item they disappear Just going to quickly do some of the planting for the balcony now It's actually still a little bit too cold to grow stuff directly on the balcony at the moment But what I can do is I can plant some of these seeds into this container and then I'll start them growing indoors and when the weather warms up a bit I'll transplant them out here All working now, you can right click on the items and it brings up any relevant stats relating to that item. Um, or if the item doesn't have any stats then it just shows the name. One thing I was wondering though is do you think I need to show the item descriptions in these pop-ups as well? Um, which would look something like this. My thinking was that I probably don't need to show it because when you buy the item from the shop you'll see the description of the item then. So if you've bought it and you own it, then you must already know what it does. So then maybe you don't need to see the description again, but let me know what you think. So that's going to be it for this week. Another UI done, another step closer to finishing the whole UI overhaul. Just a couple more to go now, and then I'll finally be getting back to gameplay. Before I finish, I want to give a big thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Matthew McCloskey, Peter Ostazen, Daniel Serlov, Ingo Moore, Helson Taveras, Andrew Romans, Mares, Shadeless Fox, Kimo Tamio, Coda the Tyler, Ross from Two Minute Tabletop, Nikat Asgazada, Zanil Ambakar, Atomic Code, Walden Yan, Me the Pig, Chris Naismith, Alan Lance, Dieter Reinert, Harry Chung, John Needham, Christoph Herpo, Wolfie, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connaughton, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Caffeine Coda, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.